everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because today we are exploring Seaside Heights, New Jersey, aka the home to Jersey Shore. So we're going to tour the Jersey Shore house today. Uh, we're going to visit the Shore store and hopefully maybe see if Danny's still there. There's also a casino pier that we're going to check out, which is a really fun boardwalk little amusement park with some roller coasters and all that fun stuff. Um, so we're going to see how many coasters we can ride today too. So it's about 10 a.m. and it's so quiet here. It's almost kind of eerie, but I also love it because then that's less crowds to deal with. It is Labor Day weekend though, so we'll see how crowded it gets later on. How fun does the sky lift look? Oh, I really want to ride this later. Look at these crazy sand sculptures. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. So if I remember correctly, I think there are four different roller coasters here. That green one right there is what I am doing today for sure. We found the infamous Shore store. Oh my gosh, there they are. I am definitely taking a picture with the duck phone. So we were just walking right by the shore store and we weren't even there for two minutes and one of the guys working there came out and he was so nice and he was just telling us that we should tour the house which we already had planned to do so we are definitely going to be doing that uh shortly oh oh look there's a, oh mario okay. sorry all right here's the house tour yeah snake feet under these steps right here <laughs> this is where Sam punched Ronnie at this picnic table. This is where they cut the house on fire with the, the barbecue. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> like charcoal and propane. We'll go room by room. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. It's on the last day of filming, the entire cast signed out. We're all sending goodbyes and thank you to Danny. Thank you for letting us live in the house, look at the store. We do not rent the house out anymore. We go, oh, that sounds like it's just kind of just promoting the guy. We're just getting the toys for the first day. Okay. There's a Scarface poster. It's the same one that was here when Yeah, we I remember that. Danny likes to collect movie posters because this was his house originally. And if you go around the corner, you'll see the duck bone. It is the original, one of the original, excuse me. But you can pick it up, act like you're using it. I'm supposed to have Shore on blast. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, the duck bone. Yeah, pick phone. it up, sit in the beanbag, act like you're using it. It's the most famous phone oh, in the yeah. world. Oh, it smells good in here. <laughs> <laughs> For an old house, it's 100 years old. 1933 is built. That's why we don't rent it out to preserve it. Wow. This is the puke bathroom right here. Uh. <laughs> it's all it's ever used for. The puke bathroom. We got Polly and Minnie's room. Hmm. And we're in right now. Follow me down. How did they sleep in these small this beds? This is the toilet that I got clogged and flooded up the whole area. <laughs> oh, no. Our Jim Bob kept her dogs, and that's a mini fridge that Snippy put her butt in when she was summer. <laughs> 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 And then this first bed is j Wells, and then Snooky's with the Chia pillows. No surprise. And then over by itself is you know, so no privacy in this house. But, <laughs> and they actually removed all the doors during filming too. So the only rooms that had the doors were the bathroom, the special room, and the profession. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And this mirror actually right here is a double-sided mirror. For the whole first season, they had no idea they were being filmed. <laughs> Well, they, I mean, there's 30 some cameras mounted in this house, but they were able to hide a couple cameras. Yeah. Production wise. Watch the steps heading up. Okay. So, you guys came at a good time. Yeah. Really <laughs> today. This is the bathroom that Angelina locked herself in when uh, Danny had to come up and fire her out of it. And this is Sam, Ron, and Mike's bedroom. That's the bed that Ronnie broke. Oh, no. <laughs> and that's all of uh, 
that supports you through all our stuff out on. And if you look up, actually, you can see where we had all the cameras and light strips mounted. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So, but we left it just to give you guys an idea of kind of how the, the inner workings would have looked when they were here filming. <laughs> so, who slept? That was Mike's bed. Oh. And that was Ron's, and that was Sam's. And then, Why did we sleep in a room with them? <laughs> this is the confession room. It's the original wallpaper install they all set. Oh. oh. confession room. What is this? It's the, the famous smush room. And then if you look right across, you'll see the shore store, and then above that is a jacuzzi porch. Unfortunately, it's closed to the public. Oh, no. Yeah, and when Hurricane Sandy went through, it took a ton of damage, and uh, the city of Seaside, they're not the biggest fans of us, so they actually, <laughs> they're the reason why the show ended, because they took our filming from it. This is so cool. We almost forgot to visit the backside, but here it is in all its glory. This is awesome. Got the Italian flag on the garage. <laughs> so we just toured the Jersey Shore house, which was absolutely amazing. And Danny was actually working in the shop. So we got to meet him and he was super nice. We took a picture of him, which I will post right here. Now we're just exploring, gonna get some food. We're just waiting for Casino Pier to open. I have to record you with this bag because you just look so funny carrying it. <laughs> Casino Pier is now open. What to do first? So you can pay per ride or you can get a two hour wristband, which is $45. We have exactly two hours, so that ends up working out perfectly. We're about to go on an indoor scrambler type ride and look at this entrance. This is, we're not even in a haunted house, this is very interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, no. if you come to Casino Pier, you have to do Centurion. It's like an indoor scrambler ride and it's like heavy metal music and strobe lights. It's so freaking awesome. It's actually called Centrifuge, not Centurion. Don't listen to me. All right, time to get our first coaster credit of the day. This thing is insane, but so worth it. I'm a like 10 minutes and it got to the point where the mechanic guy had to literally pick us all up like children and get us on the ride. It was super weird but just kind of funny too. All right well that wraps up our day at Seaside fist Heights. Bump, fist bump, fist bump. I swear. This place is so cool. We only spent a few hours here and I'm already telling Chris that I want to come back and spend at least a few days because there's so much to do and it's just so cute here. Uh, it's a lot nicer than the way it's perceived in the show, I will say that. Um, but yeah, everybody's really nice. There's a ton of fun things to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next vlog.